What's up everybody? We are back with another video. Today is Mini GT time and in this video I will show you my favorite Mini GT models of the year 2023. And with that said, let's get started with my personal number 10, which is this beauty here. This is the BMW M3. It's not a new casting. We've already seen several versions of this model, but I really like this version in black and gold. As you can see, this is a um, John Player special deco without saying John Player special uh, and that's because um, it came with um, decals but i didn't put them on the car by the way this is the 1987 atcc championship winner atcc is the uh, australian touring car championship and yeah this one is from the jps team bmw this is mini gt number 608 by the way and yeah just look at this thing it's a beauty look at those fantastic rims look at the color combination and we also get these beautiful lensed taillights kind of a custrol license plate the m3 badge here on the back yeah and for sure all of the models i will show you do roll yeah what a beauty this is my number 10 into the parking lot it goes we go on with a number nine which is obviously a formula one car this is the famous i think it's called the six wheeler the Tyrrell p34 from the 1976 Spanish Grand Prix and this is Mini GT number 488 and um, this thing here is one of the first um, Formula One cars they did and yeah what can I say I think Mini GT did a great job we get all of these um, details also that the driver name and uh, the flag and all that stuff this beautiful elf deco I hope you can see it you get this um you get a steering wheel and also um prints on the tires also on these tiny uh, tires here on the front which is really really cool there's one thing that um i don't like and that is that this thing is extremely light I can put it on a scale and I think it's, yeah, it is 17 grams. That is um, nothing. I mean, you can't see that <laughs> if this thing is on display, but um, you know, I like it when I um, yeah, lift these models and they do have some weight to them. It just feels really good. But um, anyways, it's a, it's a beautiful diecast model. So let's put this one into the parking lot. And we go on with a much bigger one. It's this guy right here. This is the Range Rover from the British Trans Americas Expedition. And yeah, you can see there is a lot going on. And um, I think this is a new casting for this year. We've also seen um, a Camel Trophy version. I also got that one, but I think this one here um, is a little bit cooler. I mean, look at all of these stickers here at the side. I really like those rims. We also get um, spare tires, two spare tires on the roof, kind of auxiliary lights here on the A pillar. Yeah. Um, we get these uh, <clears throat> mirrors mounted on the, on the uh, hood or on the fender. And, uh, yeah. This is the backside. It's also got a license plate and this Great Britain sticker, chrome bumper. And as you can see, it comes with a, with a tow hitch. It's kind of cool. I also like the interior, by the way, this uh, cream color. And of course, we got, we get all of this stuff here on the, on the roof rack, a little box here in the middle. So, yeah. Could be that some of you might say this is too much. I really like it. I think it's, um, yeah, it's beautifully done. 
And as always, um, normally these Mini GT uh, models don't have any issues, no flaws, rules for sure. And uh, by the way, because I, I mentioned, um, because I mentioned the weight of the Formula One car, I put this one on the scale. And uh, yeah, this one is weighing 52 grams, just um, comparison. I mean, once again, doesn't say anything about the quality itself, but I personally like um, yeah. when these cars have some weight to them. But anyways, we go on with number seven, which is, yeah, let's say a little bit odd, but um, <laughs> very cool. This is um, the Roof Rodeo presentation, or in Germany you would say uh, Roof Rodeo presentation. But we don't care about the pronunciation. We take a look at this beautiful model. Uh, by the way, I f forgot to mention the uh, Range Rover is number 542. Sorry for that. And um, this uh, roof is number 421. So with that said, I mean, look at this paint job. Really, really cool. Kind of a, yeah, it's, it's an interesting uh, metallic golden look. We get a roof rack with the bags, and I guess in the middle we do see a tent. We get golden five-spoke wheels, and yeah, that's kind of funny. We get this um, shovel here on the engine cover, which is kind of cool. Sorry for that. So this is the back. And you always have to be careful. This one comes with lensed headlights. And um, as you can see, it's coming with a rope here in the front. And it's also painted golden, which is um, a really cool detail. And I think you, it's very hard to see. But look, take a look at these um, auxiliary lights. Um, there is the roof logo on all of them. I hope you can, you can see it. So, yeah, really beautiful model. Into the parking lot it goes, and we get to number six. So, this is an older Mini GT casting, but um, it's still one of my favorites. This is a uh, number 481 it's the mercedes 190e 2.5 16 evolution 2 from 1991 race of macau or something i do have a lot of versions of this model and um, this particular one was part of a really cool a three pack i did a review about that if you're interested in it um but so basically in this three pack, we saw three, let's say, similar cars. We got number nine, 10, and 11. And um, it's basically the same deco, uh, but they have, um, yeah, let's say minimal differences. I think one of them has silver rims, and yeah, there are some, some little changes. But this thing just looks fantastic. And uh, there's one thing I want to mention. Always be careful if you lift this thing because I hope you can see it here on top of the grill. We see the Mercedes star, which is a very, very cool detail besides the um, lens headlights and this beautiful grill and all of these um, yeah, sponsor logos all around the car. As you can see, you get the driver's name, these fantastic rims also with um, AMG prints on them. Really, really nice. Back also looks fantastic. Lensed taillights, exhaust details, AMG license plate. Yeah. Details over and over. For sure, this one is a roller. Just a stunner, in my opinion, even though it's not a new casting, but um, yeah. perfect deco. Into the parking lot. So let's get to the top five. The, yeah, it's a more modern car. This is the Lamborghini 
Huracan GT3 Evo um, from the 2020 IMSA Daytona 24 hours gear racing. This one is number uh, 552. And yeah, guess what? I mean, <clears throat> it's all about this really, really cool deco. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of racing and rally livery, and this is just cool. This, let's say, pop art or comic style. How cool is that? I mean, yeah. If you put this thing on display, yeah, just fantastic. Ruler for sure. Perfect stance. And that's all I can say. Really, really nice. Into the parking lot. And we get to a number four. Just the BMW M4 GT3 BMW Team RLL from the 2022 IMSA Daytona 24 hours. This is number 394. And I um, it's the same as with the Mercedes 190E that I showed you. I do own several versions of this one. It's just one of, I think, six versions of this BMW M4 GT3 I do own. And they are all so cool. But I think, yeah, this one might be the best. Once again, it's just looking fantastic. Length headlights and deco over and over. If you are into that, like me, lens taillights, deco on the wing. It's Puma sponsor logo here on the wing or here on the fender. Just fantastic. So now we do have our top three, and I think they are all new castings for this year. And my personal number three is from Japan. It's the Subaru Impreza WRC 97. So this is the 1997 um, winner of the Ready San Remo. It's uh, number 512, by the way. And yeah, once again, I mean, they did a fantastic job on this one. I really like these copper rims. Take a look inside um, the model. The roll cage has exactly the same color, I would say, as um, the exterior, which is kind of cool. And we get, once again, details over and over the model. Lens, uh, <clears throat> lens headlights, lens taillights. This is the back. This uh, kind of a license plate, it's a P7. WRC, the Pirelli sponsor logos. A roller for sure. We also get this, I think it's in a Rally San Remo sticker. Very, very cool. Deco on top. On the windshield. Very, very nice. Now, number two is this one. One of my all-time favorite cars, the McLaren F1, and for sure this is the McLaren F1 GTR, and it's the winner of the 24 Hours of Le Mans from 1995. This uh, mini GT is uh, number 534. Um, yeah. I mean, just looking fan Fantastic. I mean, look what they did with the headlights, lens headlights. Fantastic. We got the British flag. So cool. We get these five spokes with these blue center locks and uh, prints on the Michelin tires. Very, very cool. The Wing has this uh, carbon fiber look to it. Lens the taillights, and I think it's so cool. It's saying down here BMW V12 power because, of course, this thing had a BMW engine. And I guess all of you know that um, the seat is positioned in the middle, also on the road legal version. 
What a fantastic model, fantastic car. Really, really like it. Okay, so yeah. What is a number one? And here it is. It's the Nissan LV Super Silhouette S15 Silvia Auto Finesse. It's number 490. It's one of the models that was quite hard to get, at least for me. It seems like so many wanted this one. Um, I think this, you know, it's a question of your taste. I mean, the body kit is quite extreme. But anyways, it's, it's a fantastic model and I really, really love the color combination. And uh, well, yeah, look at all these uh, details. I like this auto finish lettering here on the roof. It's looking so cool. You get this front splitter saying the sound. Lensed headlights. Lensed taillights. And uh, I hope you can see it. The roll cage inside is the same color as the roof. These blue five spokes with uh, chrome lips. And uh, yeah. Now it's uh, your turn. I mean, uh, you can write down in the comments down below which one was your favorite models. Could be that I didn't mention your favorite because I mean Mini GT is bringing out so many models right now. But um, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit expensive if you, if you would like to buy them all. But yeah. These were my favorites, right? Your uh, opinion in the comments down below. And with that said, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and yeah, happy hunting. See you next time. Bye.